All right, guys, in this problem here, I'm going to show you guys how to use your graphing calculators to uh, help you with graphing radical functions. All right, so in this one here, we have y equals 2 times the square root of x minus 3 minus 2. And I can find my vertex here, which is going to be 3, positive 3, negative 2. So positive 3 for the x, negative 2 for the y coordinate of my vertex. And what I'm going to do is I want to find my other values for my table over here. And I'm going to use my calculator rather than plugging those in. I, need, I know I need to go 3 to the right, or of my vertex, but I can use my calculator to help me out with that. So I'm going to plug it into my y equals. I have 2 times x minus 3 minus 2. I'm going to hit graph. And I can see what my graph is going to look like. Yeah, that looks about right. I can see that it starts at 3, negative 2 as I thought. And now I can use my table, so second graph, use my table, and uh, see a bunch of values here. And I see a bunch of error messages. You might be wondering why. We've talked about this in class a little bit. Well, if we look in this little graph here, it starts at 3. Everything before that, there's no graph there. So at 2 and 1 and 0 and so on and so forth, there's no graph. That's why we have an error message. But I can scroll down here a bit, and I'm going to see all these wonderful values for, for x and y. So I start at 3 for x, and I get negative 2 for my vertex. right? So I get 3, negative 2 for my vertex. My next value is going to be 4, 0. I can plot that. I can put that into my t-chart. I can put 5 and 0.8 into my t-chart. So I have my values right here that I can throw in my t-chart without even having to plug in for x and go through that whole process. So this saves me some time as well as possible errors because my calculator is doing it for me. As long as I plug it into the y equals correctly, my calculator is going to tell me exactly what I need to put into my t-chart. And there you go. An excellent resource. Another thing that you have here is maybe you were thinking, oh, my vertex is going to be negative 3, negative 2. You forgot that you got to switch the sign inside the radical. Well, if you look at negative 3, you'll see an error message. You know, well, pff, that can't happen. So I must have made a mistake. Oh, yeah, that's right. i got to switch the sign. And now it's totally helped you out so that you can remember that my vertex will actually be positive 3, negative 2. And that's just a wonderful wonderful thing to, to have at your fingertips.